In this video, we are joining photographer Neil Buckland to explore the capabilities of the Pentax K3 Mark III. From the studio to the street, Neil will be using the K3 Mark III to capture a range of shooting situations, including one subject that's literally out of this world. So this was part of a planet that was in our solar system before the Earth existed. 4.566 billion years old. Photographing rocks from space, from other planets, it's kind of amazing. My name is Neil Buckland. I'm a commercial photographer and fine art photographer in Seattle. I shoot all kinds of things from commercial products like fancy wristwatches, all the way to fine art portrait work, and I do a lot of abstract fine art. Particularly one of my big projects these days is photographing meteorites on a microscope that I built. I've been using Pentax for a long time. I love their cameras. I had a chance to try out the new K3 Mark III, and I have to say, it's very impressive. I mean, it's extremely well built. The features are really well thought out. There's a new menu system that's very modern, very organized, very easy to use. This is easily the most customizable camera I've ever seen. Almost every button on this camera can be reprogrammed to do something else, and it can behave differently in different modes. That's insane. I've never seen anyone do that much customization for a camera. Right now, I have this dial programmed to switch between focus peaking modes. And one of the focus peaking modes, which I've never seen before, is where it goes totally gray and only shows focused pixels as a white highlight. Particularly for studio product work, you could very clearly see what is in focus and then you just turn the dial and switch back to normal mode. That's very cool. So the first shoot we did was to photograph a recently found meteorite. I often will photograph these rocks for the person who's trying to sell the rock. One of the things that's very important is to show a lot of detail and texture in the surface of the rock. And so I wanted to test this K3 Mark III just to see how well the pixel shift does to bring out all that rich texture in the surface of the rock. In my opinion, the way that Pentax implements their pixel shift mode is the, the best in the industry. It's much more efficient and convenient than any of the others because when I click this button in the pixel shift mode, it captures the four images, assembles them as a DNG file in the camera. So when I download to the computer, I have one assembled DNG file with extra resolution and better color, better detail. All right, so this is gonna be really, really cool. So this is what's called a thin section. In other words, an extremely thin slice of a rock from Mars. We've got a linear polarizer filter underneath, which is allowing polarized light to come into the sample. And then we're gonna filter that light again with another linear polarizer. In my artwork capturing meteorites for prints, I like to experiment with rotating this polarizing filter in order to get different color palettes. The Pentax K3 Mark III is a high-end APS-C format DSLR, designed for use by enthusiast and professional photographers. The latest in a line of rugged K3 series cameras, the Mark III offers a range of improvements over earlier generations. These include a new BSI CMOS sensor for better image quality, an all-new 101-point autofocus system, and burst shooting up to 12 FPS or 11 FPS with continuous autofocus. The K3 Mark III's viewfinder has also been improved and now offers an impressive 1.05 times magnification, making it among the most immersive finders of any APS-C format camera. In-body stabilization is effective up to a claimed 5.5 EV, and the same system also allows for a pixel shift resolution mode, which increases color resolution and cancels out more patterning. The highly customizable K3 Mark III can also be set up to record 4K video at up to 30p. 
So it happened to be a really beautiful day in Seattle and we took the camera out. Uh, one of the things that I love to do when I'm walking through a city is to look up. And so I love capturing building walkways or the building and trees and sky. So we, we did a lot of that with this K3 Mark III. I was really impressed with the monochrome mode. There's so many choices and so many ways to customize that. And the infrared mode in particular was really something special. I've never seen anything like that in a digital camera. It produces a beautiful image. This camera also has a really cool feature where if you're using a manual focus lens, you can set it so that you hold down the shutter button and focus the lens. And as soon as it comes into focus, it automatically captures. One of the things we really wanted to test on this new camera is the improved autofocus capabilities and the burst mode. So we met up with a model and we did some running and jumping action sequences. Using those 101 autofocus points, you can see them all in the viewfinder as you move the joystick around. I could pick a starting point and then it automatically tracked the moving subject as he was coming and jumping. After the running test, we went and did some portraits of the model with a 55 millimeter f1.4 lens, which generally is pretty hard to focus. But the autofocus on this camera did a pretty good job of finding the face every time. It's really clear that Pentax has put a lot of thought into every little control, every refinement. It's built extremely well. The ergonomics are excellent. The grip is extremely comfortable so that when you're working with it, you don't feel any barriers to your creative process.